I think I tasted a little bit of love in there. A little bit of love in that mojito. Ah, uh, perfecto. I'm gonna have to visit Cuba if this is how they're doing it. Mm. Boom, I'm on South Beach, maximizing my time out here in Miami. Sleep, what sleep? Nobody can sleep out here. This city never sleeps. So I'm out here, I just realized I haven't eaten anything today. So I gotta get something in my system. I'm in Miami. The Cuban food out here is amazing. It's so close to Cuba. The food uh, I hear is amazing, right? I've never had it out here before. So I was like, let me go get some Cuban food. I got to. So I'm on South Beach. I did a little research, I found out this place called Havana 1957. This is the spot. This is where you want to go for your Cuban food. Is what I read, right? I did my research. So, I'm gonna go in there and find out. Let's go check out Havana 1957 and see what it's all about. Enough of the chit chat. Let's click clack. So this is their outside dining. If you like the weather and you want to enjoy, you could sit out here and really be comfortable. And if not, you can go inside and have it your way. So let's go in there and see what it's all about. Definitely loving the vibe in here. Look at this bar. That bar is so nice. And plus, I hear they have really, really great mojitos here. So I'm gonna have to do one. Mojito! Boom! Okay guys, the food is here. Excellent service, super quick. And it looks and smells good. What did I get? Well, I asked the manager what's the most popular thing, the best thing, what is the one thing that they, uh, they're known for, the popularity, you know what I mean? I want to showcase that. So he told me about the uh, especialidad de la casa. So that's basically specialty of uh, the, the house. So the Havana 1957 special. So what is that? What's the Havana 1957 special? Well, it's roasted chicken in their signature Cuban gravy, white rice, black beans, salad, and some sweet plantain fries. So that's a pretty big meal, right? You guys have to get a close-up of this and check it out. But before I show you that, let me dig into this mojito. Now these are all made the classic way. The lime is hand squeezed every single time so they don't use that bottled stuff. Let's try it out. They also have 20 different flavors of mojitos here. That's crazy. But I got a classic. Classics never die. Woo! That is good. Wow. This is what a mojito is supposed to taste like. Mmm. Oh man. I wish you guys could taste this. Look at that. And it's sugar cane. Obviously, right? That makes sense. This is really good. Mmm. They use fresh mint leaves in there. Everything tastes just the way it's supposed to. So let's get to the food. Oh my gosh. Look at that roasted chicken. Glistening with that Cuban gravy. A little gravy for your baby. We got that classic white rice. Your sweet plantain fries. And then you got your salad over here. Plus, you got your black beans. Ooh. And then you also have 
your little fried plantain tostada type of deals. So this meal looks excellent. I'm just gonna go ahead and get in it. Let's bite this thing. Mm. That's a nice piece of chicken. Cuban gravy, I'm trying to dissect the flavors of it, but it's really good. It's not like, it's hard to describe, but it's so good. Let's go ahead and get in on the rice, see what that's about. Let's do it. A little dab of gravy there. A little gravy for your baby. This rice is perfectly hydrated. It's like not dry at all. And I don't know what they season this with. So good. Mm. Let's try these black beans. So far everything is so good. I haven't tried this sweet fried plantain. Let's check it out. The plantain's good. It's a little sweeter than I was expecting, but then again, I've never had fried plantains. So I don't know what I was expecting, but it's good. good stuff guys this chicken like I said the the meat is so good the skin it's great and then that Cuban gravy is what makes this thing pop the rice is perfectly seasoned and perfectly cooked and that's important a lot of places don't do rice right and they just put it off to the side like it's a side thing not here the rice is so good we got the uh, black beans as well, and these things are popping with flavor. Mm. I've never had black beans that taste that good. Mm. Now all these things are so good on their own, but the real magic happens once you start mixing everything together. You get a little bite of the chicken, a little bite of the rice, a little bit of the black beans. Really good stuff. Now these are fried plantains right here. And they're like their version of a, uh, like a tostada kind of thing. So, throw a little black beans on there. Mm. That's a satisfying crunch. Real good crunch. Mm. I'm really blown away by this meal. It's so good. It's really hearty. You could sit down and have this for dinner and just be so totally satisfied. And, and for lunch, it's a big boy lunch, you know? You eat this for lunch, <laughs> you might skip dinner, you know what I mean? Mm. This thing leaves you wanting more. And not in a bad way. Everyone says that and they always take it like a bad way. 
And it's because people use it in a negative connotation, right? But in my eyes, this leaves you wanting more, not because it lacks in flavor or substance, but because it's so dang good that you want to just keep eating it and eating it because it's so delicious. This thing leaves you wanting more. Mm. I can't stop biting it. Sweet plantain, a little bit on there. I'm gonna have to visit Cuba if this is how they're doing it. Mm. So good guys, definitely would recommend it. If you're in the South Beach, Miami area and you're looking for some Cuban food, come check out Havana 1957. Like I said, this is my first time ever having Cuban food and it's super, super good. But I think I'm gonna have to have another meal before I leave tomorrow morning just to say I had two meals that were Cuban because this is so good. And I really just in general want to compare. I don't know, I'm gonna have to find out. Mm. Well that's it for my review of Havana 1957 guys. Great atmosphere, great service, the food is good, and oh my gosh, the mojitos. You need one of these mojitos in your life. It's like you're taking a sip of vacation every time. Mm. A little sip of vacation. If this is your first time here at the channel and you love seeing brand new food reviews, exploring new flavors, and learning how to save money at your favorite restaurants, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss a thing. This is your boy Full Nelson with another episode of Full Nelson Eats A Lot. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Boom. Oh my gosh. Those mojitos are a work of art. Seriously. It's like the glass is his canvas and he's painting it with all those delicious rum and mint and fresh squeezed lime and I think I tasted a little bit of love in there. A little bit of love in that mojito. Oh, perfecto. So, so good. Havana 1957, you guys definitely made a fan of Full Nelson today. Boom! <laughs>